Hello again, this is Sandra Hart with Life Over 60 and my observations of what it's like to have lived this long and still be alive and thriving. The other day I was kind of calculating how many blogs that I have done since about 2012 and I'm close to the number 500. So while perusing the book read between my lines that I wrote that compiled some of these blogs. I happened upon a blog that I wrote a few years back about my son Emerson Hart, who is the lead singer-composer of the band Tonic. It's quite relevant, I think, today because Tonic just finished celebrating their 20th anniversary of their first record album, Lemon Parade. It went multi-platinum and garnered them a lot of awards right out of the chute for their very first album. So Emerson visited New York with his band one time a few years ago, and it prompted me to write a blog about what it feels like to be old parents of a really young super rock star. Ever since I watched the 9-11 disaster from our summer home on the shores of New Jersey, it'd been a long time since I'd been through the long tunnel that runs under the river from New Jersey and opens up into the city. Now, this is a city that I constantly dreamed of as a child while living in Ohio, and that has for a long time always held my heart, New York. But it finally took nothing stronger than a mother's love to pull me back again to the city of survival. My son was coming to town. Last Monday, we had lunch with him and his band Tonic at a little diner in Chelsea near my husband's apartment just north of the village. The boys were in town for a special event put together for the winners of a contest and we were invited to tag along. That evening, we arrived at Le Bar, Le Bar Bat on 57th Street, where Arthur and I were quickly ushered behind the big velvet rope. When inside the door, we were stamped like a pork chop that has passed FDA inspection. And from there, the host herded us toward, a, oh, she was so pretty young woman in a fetching blue wig, and she had a figure to die for. Well, she tagged us with Technicolor hospital-like bracelets that would, quote, allow us two full free drinks, end quote. She then moved us on to another amazingly handsome young man with the whitest teeth that I've ever seen in my life, he then sent us on to another beautiful girl wearing a pink wig who decked us out in fluorescent blue neck rings. I think she said something about free massages and care card reading, but before I could question my hearing that was altered severely by my rock concert earplugs, we were quickly moved along like a herd of cattle by the swell of enthusiastic tonic fans behind us. Now, one would think that after a few years of attending rock concerts and hanging out in the dressing room with kids who are my age divided by four, that I would be used to it by now. But long ago, I have given up my pathetic attempts to blend in and not be so obviously, what are they doing here? The truth is, even the clueless figure out that Arthur and I have to be someone's parents. Trust me, if you ever want to feel your age, just go to a rock concert. It's a humbling experience along with kids who never think that they are ever going to be or never, never, ever look as old as you do. But in the end, there is sweet revenge for old folks like us. While others are tramping through the cold to the city garages or waiting in the chilly night wind for a cab, 
bus or subway to take them home. Life can be sweet for the parents of a rock star. For instance, when your son gives you a lift at 3 o'clock in the morning back to your Chelsea apartment in his new bright tour bus that is as long as a New York City crosstown block, and it's the color of Christmas. And better than that, when he even drops you smack dab in front of your canopy door, you know, oh, do you ever know that you have a special life. What if the few bleary-eyed people wandering in the streets at that ungodly hour were scratching their heads at us too tired, button-down seniors hopping, well, actually, if you want to be honest, dragging out of this crimson machine made only to carry young, hip people. And okay, I mean, what if being supportive of your kids' things kind of makes you seem crazy sometimes and maybe even embarrasses them? The truth for Arthur and I is that there are no better perks than stepping out of a big red bus in the middle of the morning after a great night of just forgetting how old we really are. 